let us make a true 3D sphere. It's kind of tricky, so we're going to show you how to do it here real fast. It won't take long. So go to your library, content, and you want to look for your basic blur. You can type it in or you can scroll through to find it, however you want. We want to apply that. So there we go. Let's go to our inspector. And um, let's see here. First thing we want to do is turn this into a particle. So make particle. That turns that into a particle. Now we have our emitter. Let's turn our shape to... Um, first let's make it 3D and turn our shape to sphere. Okay. Let us then go down here. Let's see what else we can look at here. Um, we got tile fill. We want outline like that. Uh, birth rate, we're going to make it zero. Um, initial number, let's make 700. Then we'll have this little deal here. Let's go down here and color mode, pick from range. Let's click it and make it uh, film noir, like that. Now let's bring our scale down like so. Now we're going to add a few filters to this. We're going to add glow, light rays. Okay. We can bring our amount down a little bit and our glow up. Now let's add a glow dazzle. Let's turn the amount way down. So let's turn the threshold up. We'll turn the brightness down a little. Like so, we'll make our spot count seven. Okay, now we have this little glowy thing. Um, let's go ahead and add a camera. Change it to 3D, yes. And also, what we're going to do is we're going to add a drag behavior. Simulations, drag to our emitter. We're going to include Z. And make the amount 30. Now we're going to go to our camera. Add a camera behavior. Sweep. And we'll make the end sweep 360. Like so. Now let's add another group, bring it to the bottom, make sure it's a 2D group. Let's go to our library, content, let's look at our backgrounds, and I'm looking for one called ribbons. We'll slap that in there, and let's play. And now as you can see, our sphere is spinning and it looks like a true 3D sphere. And you can go into your emitter and play with the colors and make it anything you wish from say you could make it like this Let's go back to the beginning and that's how you get a true 3D sphere um, the drag behavior is what keeps the particles from spewing out all over the place um, you could get creative and duplicate your group if you wanted and go into the properties and scale it down. Now we have one in the center. We have two. You can make them different colors. It's just however you want to do it. That's how you get a 3D sphere in motion. I hope you've learned something and I hope it sparked a few ideas. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.